So this is a picture of Walt Disney, who our museum celebrates. Miss Parker and Buddy Epson. This was taken five days before the opening of Disneyland. So July 12, 1955. This is a photograph I discovered. It's got a funny story behind it about Walt. Now, Miss Parker and Buddy Epson, they were Davy Crockett and George and Russell. They were pulled off a location. They were shooting Davy Crockett and the River Pirates in Kentucky. That's why they look kind of gruff, because they're in character. They were going to be there for the opening day presentation. Now, they were having their picture taken by an art director for Tomorrowland. And I found him. He's the one that took the picture. So they, if Walt wasn't there, they look down on Main Street and they see Walt walking up Main Street. He's got a little pad of paper in his pocket and a pencil. Now Walt is looking at things on Main Street and taking notes. Yes, Walt Disney is changing things five days before the opening of Disneyland. So Bess and Buddy see Walt. They say, Walt, you need to be in this photograph. So Walt walks over. He looks at his two stars. Now I've interviewed Bess Parker. Bess Parker is six foot six. Buddy Epson is six foot four. Walt Disney was five ten. So he looks at his two stars, and he goes over to the ABC truck, which was there for the opening day. He goes in, and Bess and Buddy hear him rummaging around, and he emerges with an apple the box. Now, apple box is a grip department term for a box to vary the heights of light. He brings over, he pops the apple box between Bess and Buddy, pops up on, he looks left, he looks right, says, now you can take the picture. So there it is, proof. A six foot four inch Walt Disney. Look at the belt lines. So if you like that story and other stories, there are more wonderful stories at the Walt Disney Family Museum. It wasn't supposed to do that. It was supposed to be a little more professional.